Hello, my YouTube family. It is Friday, finally, and I pray and hope that uh, this video, the audio, is in sync this time. I was pissed off as all hell yesterday, people, when I rewatched the video, which I always do, and all of a sudden it gets a little hiccup, and then all of a sudden my voice is ahead of my mouth, and I am. So if you manage to watch it and stick with it, I appreciate it very much. Thank you so very much. Um, it was a day today. It was a day. It, it, it tried very much to be a day. It was borderline day. Let's just put it that way. Um, let me do lips of the day and then I will explain. But there is, there is sunshine and roses at the end of the rainbow. So that's a good thing. Um, lips that actually match my sweater. And I had compliments from this sweater as well. And it's not its not a red red, as you can tell from the lips. It's kind of like a, a strawberry or raspberry kind of a red, which coincides with my lips. So what are you wearing on your lips, Nancy? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Okay, well, let's start with the liner like I always do. NYX in bloom. I've done this lip before, just to let you know. Uh, bloom and Color Burst Lip Butter, people. Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter. In the shade, you're not going to see it, it's too small. 053 Sorbet. 053 Sorbet. And this is what my Sorbet looks like, people. It's all, you know, all the skew. That is Sorbet. These lip butters are so soft and smooth and shiny. See, look at that shine. That is what Sorbet looks like. Stick to your lips like nobody's business. I don't know what formula this is, but it's a glossy sheen-ish kind of, and it's, it's very pigmented, very opaque. Love it. Smooth as silk. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Love it. Love it. So that's lips of the day. There you have it. That is lips of the day. Lord, this just needs to be cleaned. Um, yeah. So I was doing it all day today, people. Especially this morning. This morning. There are some people who thrive off of stirring the pot and keeping it stirred and keeping people's emotions high and constantly talking about negative stuff. Well, I came in this morning because my reception area is decorated with snowflakes and, and it's just it's just a winter wonderland and it, I felt so good just walking in. But you know it doesn't last long because other people walk in as well. Two of my coworkers who insist on constantly talking about the Ferguson and Eric Gardner, I think that's his name, Eric Gardner, Gardner, the, the big dude that um, got choked to death. I told them as soon as they came in, one in particular, the, the woman first, the, the female coworker walked in and she was like, did you hear? And I said, I said, even before you get started, I'm letting you know right now, I don't want to talk about it. 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 I've had enough. I said, when the verdict came in, I went home blind, in rage, because I was just feeling some kind of way, and I don't want to feel that way again. So if you don't mind, I don't want to talk about it. So she must have thought I was kidding. So she started laughing. <laughs> yeah, Nancy. Well, anyway, let me tell you about what I heard. I said, look. And then the male co-worker came in. And he's another stirring of the pot. So as soon as he saw us talking, he's like, oh, yeah, well, uh, they, they, are they saying anything new about what happened? And did you see the riot? And did you see the this, this, and that? I said, look, the two of you take it elsewhere because I'm, I'm dead serious. Dead serious. I don't 
want to talk about it. La, 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 la. I even did that. And that's when they, they thought I was kidding. I said, no, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. And the more they kept thinking that I was kidding, the more I kept telling them, take whatever you need to say. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Take it elsewhere. So finally, after a good 15 minutes of this roundabout, 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 what part of I don't want to talk about it anymore do you not understand? And I posted that, what I just said, I posted that on my Facebook. What what makes you think I'm joking? Do you see my face? I'm not laughing. I'm not, I'm not smiling. I'm not smirking. I'm, I don't want to discuss this any longer. What's going to change if we continue to beat it to death? What, what, what exactly is going to change? You tell me. Us talking about it, is it going to miraculously make anything change? No. So let, let's just move on. It was a Husa moment, people. It was a Husa moment. And then here comes Hop along. Now she wants to get involved. And then she she absolutely realized, okay, Nancy, okay, okay, I understand. You don't want to talk about it, but let me tell you something else. So now she's talking about other people's business, her supervisor, her boss. She's talking about how she's so incompetent and she's doing this, this, and that. And I am just, I'm giving her the interested look, but in the back of my mind, I'm going, please just go away. Please just go away. And I'm hoping that my mental thought is penetrating to her mind it wasn't penetrating fast enough but she did eventually walk away she came in still sick sort of kind of but she's like you know getting better she still managed to not cover up for me for lunch we had to get somebody else to do it because she had to work with her supervisor the one that she's bad mouthing by the way she had to work closely with her about something this this excuse me it's a project and what what have you i don't whatever. All I know is my history, my work history, ever since I started working full-time, you know, after, after college and all of this, when I started getting jobs, this, this, and the other, all I know is my work history has never been as lucky as some people that I've seen that literally get away with everything. Not coming in for days, never being called into the office. I don't know. Maybe they're sleeping around with the boss. I don't know what the history is. But what I have witnessed, the things I have witnessed that go on in an office baffles me. Because I don't know what it is, but companies nowadays, even though you have sick days, they make you feel guilty for taking the sick days off. I don't know if it's a mental thing for me, but I'm not the only one. I've often heard people say, you know, I do want to take a day off because I've, I'm burnt to, to the crisp and I just want to take a day off. But if I call in and say I'm not coming in, they get this attitude the next day like, oh, so you you look fine now. What? But it's your sick day. They gave you the sick day. You earned the sick day. It's yours. But it's true. Companies nowadays, they kind of make you feel guilty. Mine, not so much. Mine, not so much. Either that or I've learned to just tune that whole guilt thing out because I'm not one to take advantage. I'm not one to take advantage. I have seen people take advantage left, right, upside down, inside out, and nobody says a word, and they're still working at the company. So I don't know what the particulars are, but let me try it. And I'll be the first one called into the office, disciplined, put on your record, this, this, and that. See, I'm not as lucky and fortunate as some other people. I don't know how they get away with it. But if I were to do it, like if the first car goes through the red light and I'm directly behind it, I'm the one that the camera picks up and I'm the one that gets the ticket. Why did you not pick up the car before me that went through the red light just like I'm trying to do? My luck. I'm the one that gets caught. So this is what I deal with in office environments. I'm, 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 I'm a pro at it now. I know what to see. I know what to look for. I know what I'm looking at. And I just, I just go to work. I do my job and I leave. 
and it's Friday. And I literally, literally put the volume on CNN so low that I really didn't hear anything all day. I really didn't hear anything all day. And of course, you know, they were still showing the protests that were happening around in the city and this, that, and the other. And people who, were, who really were coming through the office and wanted to see and hear, they looked at me like, um, could you put the volume up? I said, I, I purposely put it low because I don't want to hear any more about it. But for you, while you're standing there, I'll put it up a little bit. I'll put it up a little bit. And then when they realize, oh, I'm standing here too long, I got work to do, as soon as they walked out, I put it right back low. I didn't mute it. I could still have some sounds because I knew people were sort of, some people were semi-interested. They dwell in it. You go ahead and dwell. I'm, I, I, I've dwelled. I'm out of the dwelling now, and I, I can't change anything. I'm just me. I'm just a little cog on the wheel of life, and I'm just keeping it moving for myself. So that was the kind of day, people. That was the kind of day it was. I don't want to talk about Ferguson anymore. I don't want to talk about the cops getting away with murder anymore. I don't, I don't want to do it. I, I, it's not like I want to be empty-headed about the situation. I'll continue to read and see what's going on, but I am not going to delve myself in it from the time I come into the station, to the office, to the time I leave. No, I'm not doing that anymore. The second I start watching CNN and it's on that particular subject, I turn away. I turn away. I'm doing something on this side because the TV is on to my right and computer is on to my left. So I just, I go on the computer. I, I Google, Google images on lipsticks, Google images on eyeshadows and all sorts of cosmetics and makeup stuff and so speaking of which, on to the lighter side, a couple of things came. Remember I told you I'm an emotional shopper? So the things that I really wanted to show you, the stuff that I, there are two things left that need to come. Of course, those are the ones that didn't come. They'll come next week. But I'll show you a couple of things that I did, that I did order. Uh, actually, these are things that I need. Surprise, surprise. I'm, I'm actually ordering stuff that I actually need and not so much want. The two things that are that are coming next week, those are things that I want. But these are things that I need. Here we go. And you're going to say, why do you need that, Nancy? This is my Hobbit desk calendar for 2015. This is Hobbit, uh, the desolation of Smaug. Yes. This is one of those, you know, those desk calendars. I have this at, uh, on my desk at work, but the one I have at work is like inspirational words. Well, I love The Hobbit. I love The Lord of the Rings. Y'all know this by now. So this is going to be for 2015. And can I say him? Hoofa, honey. Lord have mercy. And this dude right here, he's a dwarf. Oh, but he's a Ooh, child. He is fine. He's not so much fine. There's just something about him. And in the second Hobbit, which is the Desolation of Smog, the third one comes out this month. The final, the final chapter comes out this month. Uh, the Five Armies, the, the battle, the Battle of the Five Armies. I think that's what it's called. But this, this is basically. Uh, the second movie of The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog. This this dude right here, I hope you could see him right here. Hamina. Hamina, Hamina. I'm just saying. Okay, so that's my desk calendar for next year, which is really next month. Uh, that's the, my 2015 desk calendar. And... This is the calendar that I have in my bathroom. I have in my bathroom with full things because I have no other place to really put it. This is my black cat calendar. Yes. I have a black cat calendar for, for this year in my bathroom. And this is for, I don't know, can you see the black cat 2015? And these are all the pictures and they all look like Tom. Except for this one. This hairy one, Tom is not a, he's not, this is a medium haired cat. Tom is a short haired cat. 
So they all look like Tom, my little baby. Especially this one right here. This, that is Tom Pure. That is my baby right there. The month of October. Love these cats. So there you have it. This is my black. I have become a cat person. What can I tell you? I am in love with my black cat calendar. So there you have it. And those are the two calendars. And this, because my other one is, is slowly, slowly but surely emptying. And I'm kind of surprised because it's this, um, this size. This is visibly bright. They no longer sell this. It's discontinued in the stores, but you know, Amazon has everything. I've been wanting to try this one for a while. Neutrogena Visibly Bright Daily Cream Cleanser. The one I'm using now is Olay Luminous Bright. It's a cream cleanser also, but it's an it's also an exfoliant. And I didn't realize it had it has little itty bitty micro beads in it. And I that's what I wash my face with wash every every night. I do my St. Ives with the olive scrub in the morning, and I use my um, Luminous, Olay Luminous at night to wash off my makeup. But it's the same size as this, and I only, I've only i only started using it maybe two weeks ago, and it's already like down to here. And I'm like, I don't really squeeze a whole hell of a lot. I squeeze, you know, just a little finger, finger amount, but... Them, it must not have been full or whatever. All I know is it's almost done. So this is going to take its place as soon as I'm done with that one. But I'm going to wash my face with this one tonight because I'm just so anxious. What are you doing? The boxes, the Amazon boxes are here. And he's staring at himself, basically the calendar. Are you, are you done? Quite curious. So this is what I'm going to be washing my face with tonight. And uh, it's a daily cream cleanser. Transforms dull, tired skin into visibly bright and... What? Transforms dull, tired skin into visibly bright and refreshed. That don't make no kind of sense. Whoever wrote that, go back to English class. Go back to grammar school because it doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to just test this out tonight because I was waiting for this. I was really, really waiting for this. And they said they had a nice smell. Let's see. Oh, my. Oh, my. It does smell very good. Oh, it smells lovely. Okay, so I'm, I'm sold. Well, we'll see because I, I want to know what it, how it treats my skin. So we shall see. But I'm 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 not disappointed with my other one with my Olay Luminous. I'm not disappointed at all. It is very good. It cleans off my skin very well. It's not drying. Like you don't get that tight, taut feeling the second you pat your skin dry. I can go for at least an hour before I start to feel a little bit of tightness and then I put my moisturizer on, but I don't wait that long. As soon as I'm I'm done drying off my face, I put on my moisturizer. But I'm going to see if this one is the same. One is Olay and the other one is Neutrogena. So, and they're both great companies. So we shall see. So that's it, people. That is it. It is Friday. I'm so glad I am not wound up like I was a couple of days ago. I'm, I'm really better because I nipped it in the bud. I nipped the whole situation in the bud. And I don't know if they're not going to be friendly with me anymore or what have you. But I, you know, I hope they understand because I can't be talking about this 24-7 every single day. I, I am with CNN from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. So what they want to talk about, I've, I already know about it. Okay, I already know about it. Yes, we all feel the same way. Injustice. Blatant as it is, you see a man literally getting killed on video. Well, apparently, you could get away with that nowadays. It's, let me not even, because I'm going to, uh, you see it, right? It's like right here. You see it surging. So I'm going to, I need to detox. 
I haven't said that in a very long time. I need to detox. Just hoosa. Because it is the weekend, honey. This is not going to ruin my weekends. I am going to max and relax. It's raining now. It's going to be raining again tomorrow. I don't know about Sunday. But I heard it's going to be a very blah and yucky and disgusting day. Oh, well. And I was going to get a wash and step because next Thursday. Next Thursday is our holiday Christmas party. Office Christmas party. Yeah, it's at uh, City Field, Shea Stadium, some a cellar, the a cellar room somewhere. I don't know, but um, it's in Queens, thank goodness, because Shea Stadium is in Queens, so it's not going to be too far from home for me. In case I, uh, you know, okay. If you look back a few years, there is a video. Shameful as it is. I am just as drunk as a skunk in that video. And I let you know that I'm drunk too. Slurring my words and oh, I was a hot mess. I had a good time, but I was a hot mess. And I had the nerve to come on and do a video. I did. Look back. You'll see. I don't know what the name of the video is, but I, I know I'm drunk. And I don't drink, which is that's the whole surprise. Because I am not a drinker. I don't have any alcohol in this house. My father drinks wine. I don't even have wine. I'm not one of those um, Olivia Pope types who drinks a glass of wine every single damn night. Not me. I don't drink wine. I don't drink champagne. I don't drink. I don't even drink a wine cooler. I'm not a drinker. I will socially drink like at the party. I will socially drink. That time, my drunk video, I drank a little too much. All it takes is three. Three glasses of an alcoholic beverage, and I've got, I'm dancing on tables. I've got uh, lamp shades on my head. It's a hot mess. I never was a drinker. So my alcohol intake is very limited, extraordinarily limited. Three drinks, people. Three. One, I'm getting relaxed. Two, I'm already relaxed, and I'm talking. I'm having a good time. Three. Hey, I'm dancing, whether there's music or not, because it is in my head. So I know my limitation. So next Thursday. I don't know. It'll all depend on how I feel. Right now, I'm excited. I'm excited because last year, I didn't go to the holiday party last year because of my back and leg situation. And I was walking around with a cane and I was just miserable last year but this year is a whole different year no more cane i still have back issues that's why i can't walk too long and i can't stand up too long but i'm not walking with a cane anymore so it's a whole different ball of wax will i be able to actually dance if there's good music and everybody else is dancing if they're doing the electric slide i will force myself to do the electric slide the electric slide is my ish but I know that's so 1990, Nancy. Whatever. They're still doing the electric slide. But now they're doing, they're doing a different electric slide with the foot that bangs and bang and stamp, stomp one time and stomp two times. Even that one's kind of old. I don't know what they're doing like presently. I can't do the stomp one time, stomp two. I've tried it. I can follow. I do have dancing experience in my background. But... Uh, I like the original electric slide. That's that's my groove right there. The electric. That is my groove. You, you know the electric slide? That's my groove. Other than that, mm, I'm old, people. I'm 50. Okay. All right. So, you know, I can, I can only move but so much. I can't, I can't disco dance like I used to back in the heyday. But I'm, you know, I can, I can still, you know, dance a rug up there. And on that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. You know I love you. I'm feeling much better. I'm going to max and relax. I'm going to put on my comfy cozies. I am going to be a slob all weekend long, as I am every weekend. But, you know, I'll be vacuuming and cleaning and but mostly I'll be relaxing and maxing and relaxing at that. Okay. I love you. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. 
and a safe one. And I will talk to you on Monday. Okay, it'll be here. Just do this like Jeannie. And it's going to be Monday. Okay. Are you youngins? Are you familiar with I Dream of Jeannie? Or am I talking over your heads? <sighs> Those of you who are with me know what, know what show I'm talking about. Okay. I love you. Bye now.